Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we are from Advanced Group. What are we talking about today, Storm? Today we are talking about this black anti-slip tape. Yep. Um, where would you use this? Um, so this gets used mostly on stairs. Mm -hmm. um, obviously you could put it on a ramp if you had to. Um, it's, I guess it's not overly industrial because it's black. Mm -hmm. um, yellow and hazard stripe stuff is bit more industrial so you could use this in residential if you had to or if you wanted to um, typically anti-slip tapes are seen a lot in industrial places or uh, places where the public can attend because mm -hmm. by law um, you're obligated as a uh, person in any organization to um, to keep everyone safe including the the public mm -hmm. and stairs can be uh, sort of a bit treacherous sometimes, especially if they're damp or wet. Um, and um, slips, trips and falls are some of the most common workplace injuries. Mm. So um, I guess, yeah, uh, if you don't have them on your stairs, um, then someone could potentially fall and it could be uh, become a big problem. Mm. So yeah, th that's generally mostly where you see them is on stairs. Mm. Um, is the adhesive nice and strong to stay? place down yeah it is mm -hmm. um, like it's got a really good tack to it problem with adhesives obviously though is uh, they're only as good as the surface you're sticking it to mm -hmm. so um, yeah I would say that typically these sorts of products depending on how much wear and tear is on the stairs would last maybe a year to two years at least um, if it's not too um, heavy traffic on mm -hmm. the stairs but if they are um, frequently trafficked, then it could potentially only last as much as six months, but it definitely does depend on the, the surface that it's being stuck to. Mm. Um, best case scenario, you might get even 10 years out of it. However, um, you know, nothing's perfect. And, you know, with just people's feet, tra feet traffic pushing on it um, and, uh, you know, it can be a little bit aggressive with the way people sometimes walk up and down a step so that it can actually you know, move it a bit and then eventually start coming away. We do need to clean the stairs before applying it. 100%, yep. yep. So uh, as with any adhesive, uh, the better that the um, area is cleaned before you stick something, then the better it sticks. Mm. Um, best products would be either isopropyl alcohol or methylated spirits perhaps to, to clean the surface before putting it down. Um, the adhesive is what's called um, pressure sensitive adhesive. Mm -hmm. So that just means that the, the harder that you press, the better it will stick. Mm -hmm. um, so once you stick it down, if it's clean and dry, then you know, obviously you could stomp on it or you know, use some sort of um, product to, to put a lot of pressure on it to make sure that's bonded as well as it can be. Um, and you might find it might bond a little bit better over the course of 24 hours um, compared to its initial um, tackiness. Yep. Yeah, how many metres would you get in this roll here? Uh, this is 18 metres. Sometimes we sell it in 20 metres. So I think, yeah, year on year can change between 18 to 20 metres. Mm -hmm. And so depending on, um, you know, which era that um, that we're buying it and you're, you're buying it as to how, how long it is. But generally we would say it's 18 metres, yep. Yeah, um, so it comes in two different um, lengths, did you say? Uh, yeah. yeah, so it can come in 20 metre um, lengths, yeah. but um, yeah, I just, I would hesitate to say that it's, that's going to be the rule because mm -hmm. it always used to be 18 metres, it's just that every now and then sometimes something will change and then we happen to have it in 20 metre rolls, but that's probably more rare than 18 metre. Yep. Yeah, and that's the only width you can get it in? No, um, this is sold in every different width almost you could imagine I think mm. and you might even be able to get it custom cut off a log if you have to yeah. um, obviously there's going to be a turnaround time and different expenses if you have to do it that way uh, but um, if you want it, uh, economic if to be economical you would just buy the ones that's already available so it could be 50 75 mil 100 mil 150 mil 200 mil 250 mil 300 mil I think one of those might not be there, but most of those would be. Mm. Um, and we have all those options on our website. Um, would you use it um, indoors and outdoors? Uh, yep, you can. Mm. Um, 
it's not going to last as well outdoors as indoors uh, because of the, uh, when stuff gets wet, it doesn't um, stay as, as good. Mm. Um, so uh, if you're wanting something permanent for outdoors, I'd probably recommend um, a stair tread rather than a tape, an adhesive tape, because um, you, if you're only have, having to replace it every 12 months, then you know it could be a bit laborious and um, annoying and um, any up maybe cost more costly in the long run could be a false economy so I guess if you do it right the first time then you don't have to worry about it for you know 10 20 30 years depending on how much traffic it gets yeah and yeah. if they wanted to buy um, like this one here but then they want needed more can they just get a discount for purchasing more yeah yep so um, the best way to get discounts on our website is um, either or either or both would be um, trade discounts if you're in the trade. Um, so if you're a contractor that's doing this sort of stuff, you can uh, apply for a trade discount. We can set you up with an automatic trade discount pricing on, online. Um, and that would just mean when you um, log in with your email address, you'll see your price. And then if you're getting bulk, uh, if you want to see what the bulk prices are, there's a button on the product page, every product page. So for example, on this product, you'll press the button that says bulk discounts. Um, a table will pop up and then you'll see the price breaks for the different bulk quantities. So they're, I think, 5, 10, 30, 50 and 100. The prices come down and you can see what those each prices are on that table. Yeah. Do you know what this is like actually made out of? Good question. Um, <laughs> this is called Carborundum. Mm -hmm. um, you now, uh, it's chosen for its grippiness, its durability, um, its ability to not oxidize and erode or corrode um, and I guess pr price um, so yeah there's a few reasons why um, it's, people would choose carver on them for for the grit um, you know some people in the past might have used all different sorts of things it could be you know sand or um, aluminium shavings or this or that um, but typically the industry standard these days is carver on them mm -hmm. And um, you offer um, other colours and stuff for anti-grip, just for different situations. For anti yeah. yeah. So um, we have a heap of different colours um, in both the tapes and the treads. Sometimes there can be custom colours can be done. Um, different colours get chosen for different reasons. Um, if this is to be used by... Um, some sort of an organisation rather than a private residence, then um, the standard is kind of like the same standard as for um, tactiles, which means you have to have a, a luminance contrast so um, that people who have poor vision would be able to see when they're um, on the stairs that there is a contrast of that strip that's at the leading edge of the step and the rest of the steps so that they can navigate themselves up and down the stairs um, with some sort of guidance, uh, even if they only have a small amount of vision, you know, 10, 20, 30% vision, it might be blurry, it might just um, be sort of light oriented. Um, if they can see that contrast, then they'll be able to, uh, you know, navigate the, the stairs by themselves, hopefully. Um, because they would know that the industry standard and the, the um, building code for um, modern buildings is to be, have some sort of illuminance contrast and it might be somewhere from 30, 35%, I forget the exact number. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming that those specifications would be outlined in our website. So if you had black stairs, you wouldn't use this. So, um, you know, you could use white. Um, yellow, blue, red, um, maybe grey, I forget what other colours are popular, but um, you wouldn't put black on black, you wouldn't put white on white. Mm -hmm. um, you should always have that, that contrast. Yeah. Can you buy it by the metre if you just if you didn't need as much as this? Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, generally these tapes are fairly inexpensive, so mm -hmm. um, you're not going to save yourself a lot of money if you do buy it by the metre. Um, we ha do have people sometimes that are... Um, you know, adamant and that they don't want to buy a whole roll. And so we have cut um, meter, meter lengths off in the past, however many meters you like. I don't think it's available on our website um, by default 
to be able to get that pricing but if you ask us for a custom pricing then uh, we can price it up for you but it's going to be a lot more expensive per meter to, to do it that way than to just buy the whole roll um, so yeah that is definitely a possibility though mm. yeah. um, is there anything else we need to know about this one um, I guess one of the things that I'll go back to from uh, our discussions previously is the different surfaces that are out there that um, you're going to try and stick things to will bond differently now. Um, if you've got raw concrete, this won't stick very well. Um, if you've got uh, quite a porous wood, it won't stick very well. Um, if the wood's treated with a, you know, um, some sort of varnish or something, then obviously it's going to stick better. If the concrete is treated or painted or whatever, then it's going to stick better. Um, porcelain tiles, I had a lot of problems with it sticking to, to porcelain and, and some installs where, you know, it's constantly having to go and replace bits and tried everything and couldn't get it to adhere permanently. Mm. Um, in those situations, obviously, you should go with a different sort of stair tread that's got a different sort of mechanical fixings rather than an adhesive. And, um, um, yeah, so I guess uh, if you had to put this onto a ramp, you could just, like, you know, every few hundred mil or a couple hundred mil, it's up to you. But, um, again, you know, people, when they're decelerating or trying to, like, you know, stop themselves from, like, running down a ramp, it's... They're putting a lot of pressure on the on the stair tread and it can can come off but um i guess if you had a wider strip then it's going to be a bit better for that um so yeah as far as tapes go my recommendation is to sort of think of it as more of like a temporary application and a budget application i guess so uh you know don't don't expect that this is going to last you know um, indefinitely on, on stairs, especially if there's heavy traffic, um, um, you know, plus minus 12 months, 24 months would be my expectation as um, reasonable. Um, you know, if there's hardly any traffic on, on the stairs and it's a good surface that it's bonded to, you might get up to 10 years from it. But um, uh, yeah, just be aware that um, if it is a, a porous, surface or a wet surface that you could either use a different sort of stair tread um, or if or, or treat it before you put this down um, we've done that before um, painted or, or varnish things um, yeah so that's probably about all um, if you want to buy this product you can go to www.advancedgroup.com.au and if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this you can hit like and subscribe thank you for watching thanks babe